the day we got a huge surprise popped in the studio here. Jim Moran from Concrete Encrete Solutions. I, I knew I was going to fub that. <laughs> I was gonna, knew I was going to fub that. In Crete, Maryland. In Crete, Maryland. There you go. Bob Carr here for another episode of the Bob Carr Show. Today we got a real treat for you. Got Jim Moran from Increed of Maryland. Jim, welcome to the show. Glad to be here. Thanks for inviting me. Been a long time together, haven't we? Absolutely. A lot of a lot of roads we've gone down together. Well over 25 years. The first job I remember you invited me over to look at was when you were doing a lot of work over at the Bowie Baysock Stadium. We did the front entrance walls. We did the carousel area. We did the picnic area. We did the home run along the home run fences. When you say you did that, explain to everybody at home is watching well, this. Well, I, I own a, a decorative concrete business. Okay. Uh, so we, we we don't we do regular concrete work, but the majority of our work has to do with color and, and stamping and, and exposed aggregate and just different types of finishes and you know fake stone walls. So uh, I had a friend down at the Bay Sox and they were always looking for pricing and you know, boom, you were in there. Yeah. You did that was a lot of yards of concrete. Yeah. Then you did a lot of work Six Flags. Six yep. Flags. Six Flags. Right say six them. Flags. Yep. How'd, that, how'd that go? It was good. It was good. Many, many years. The problem is they, they turn over management there. And it's funny because sometimes we wouldn't even get calls for work. And yet we were only, what, eight miles away from the park. So what's happened with the, with COVID with your business? You're seeing an increase, decrease, same? My oldest brother, Rick, does all the sales for sure. me. I see Rick all the time. Yep. And, uh, you know, he worked it out to a science where he didn't have to meet the customers. Everything was done via the internet, and phone calls. So in 20 was was the best year we ever had in, in 29 years, and 21 surpassed 20. So no you know, kidding. Because of COVID, a lot of people weren't going on trips. Okay. Uh, we were getting a lot of calls for people that wanted to do work around their homes, enhance their homes, and uh, it's. How about commercial work? Are you seeing an increase, decrease in that? Uh, commercial same? stayed about the same, gotcha. but the residential side really residential did Residential was up. the best ever. High end residential. A lot of a lot of uh, large residential projects. Gotcha. Yeah. So Jimmy, you were talking about your your residential service. Mm -hmm. Tell us what you do when when you are out there. When you say a residential mm -hmm. service, mm -hmm. what is it that you guys do? Anything. We, you know, we're, we're decorative concrete contractors, and the, the clientele that. We uh, cater to those that are looking for something besides broom finished concrete. Someone that's looking for, you know, a front sidewalk that looks like uh, cobblestones, it looks like brick. Okay. You know, we do a lot of, you know, we are uh, increased systems. We're a distributor for them. But it's all concrete. That's right. So okay. it's all it's all concrete. It's it's colored. It's uh, either integral and putting in the color in the concrete, or putting it on the surface. We imprint the surface to look like a. We have over 80 different patterns. Oh, okay. But you'll come in and you you'll excavate around, for, put, put a patio in yeah. or a new walkway. You'll do all that. Absolutely, and total turnkey. We don't sub anything out. Okay. So, so you haul away the soil, leave the yard clean, the whole bit. It, that's exactly right. Okay. We, we leave it. We try to leave it as best as we can as we found it. We don't bring, we don't bring large trucks into to people's backyards, tearing the yards up, tearing the landscaping up. We, but I mean, like I said, you know, you came to our home, our first house, uh, and. Hooked, hooked us up with our, our irrigation system, oh, yeah. but yeah, Bowie, you know, yep. a, a lot of people don't know well, you know I, that I do live on the eastern shore, and uh, substantially larger lot. I mean, I think we have something like 32 zones. You got a lot of zones, a lot yeah. of lights. A lot of zones, a lot of lights. Don't yeah. you, you, you? Your your company has come out there and done my garage floor. You've done oh, the, yeah, I forgot the, cab, about the cabinets floor. in the garage. Yep. yep. You know the, the uplighting of the big trees on oh, the yeah. water. You got some beautiful trees yeah. out there on the water side. Yeah. But when you go home at night, uh, nothing's better than those late evenings when I come home and, and my landscape lighting's lit up and I got that plush green carpet of a yard and it's all because of you. And Tell us a little bit about what you, you do when you're not running your business. I'm an elected official uh, in Queen Anne's County. I'm the at-large commissioner. You know, we're that county across the Chesapeake Bay. We have uh, around 50,000 residents. Great place to live, work, and play. Our biggest headache is the Bay Bridge, and we are working on that. What's part of the solution as far as the traffic that people always complain about it on Sundays backing up? Uh, it is, you know, the, the, the first Bay Bridge, the two-lane bridge, was built and opened in 51. And once it was open, the state realized that we need a lot more than this. So the process began for a second bridge, 
which is a three-lane bridge, was opened in 72, I believe. Mm. And now here it is, 50 years later, with nothing in the works. And it's going to be coming out next month that the, the federal government's going to approve the where the bridges are now for a replacement bridge. But we appreciate you coming in today, Jim. I appreciate you inviting me. Thank you very much. Absolutely. So this wraps up this episode of the Bob Carr Show, and we'll see you guys next week. If you enjoy this show, hit the subscribe button below, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching this episode of the Bob Carr Show. Make sure you hit the subscribe button below, and we'll see you next week with a new episode of the Bob Carr Show. Talk to you soon.